My gut tells me that Cersei is a pretty decent card, but it might take a little bit of time for somebody to find the perfect shell for her. Right now, that's looking closer to being the Annihilus Century Hood package. My suspicion tells me there's just going to be something better. For this video, I'm looking to do something that is a little bit off the beaten path, as usual. I'm going more toward the budget style. So because of that, I am throwing her into a high Evo shell. How will it perform? I have no clue. I have not even tested this uh, up until this point, so I will be going in fresh. Because of that, I may tweak the build a little bit. Before, I was leaning more into Mysterio, Squirrel Girl, Sasquatch, and Mockingbird. But Sasquatch and Mockingbird are out of reach for some people, so I'm going with a little bit of a more budget-friendly build. So we still have the Squirrel Girl and Mysterio here to work with Cersei. I have Scorpion and Cyclops to discount my Abomination. I have the normal high end of She-Hulk and regular Hulk. And Sunspot as a card to soak energy. With Wong, I can trigger Cersei twice. Jubilee can get out a card out of my deck, of course, and then I can Cersei that lane. So we will just see how this wonderful mess goes. So we are starting at rank 2,564. Right now, as I've used Cersei in a bunch of different decks experimenting, she's more of a fun card. I have a ton of fun playing with her. It's hard for me to care about my rank. I just want to see the chaos play out. But we will try to gain rank seriously with this deck and see how it goes. Okay, first up we have Shannon. Cersei in hand. With a Squirrel Girl. I will be patient and hold. Alright, not a huge loss. Shannon is rank 3.5k. I will put down... Squirrel Girl mid and Sunspot mid. I'm not sure that I want to change my Sunspot. They might have Ultron with Dazzler to fill their lanes, get her bonus. I don't have tech in this deck. Wong is kind of nice. So I will play Wong here. Have everything flipped twice. Scorpion, everything, and then it's probably going to be just soak. Turn five, and then my last turn is Thirsty plus She Hulk. So that's a decently strong play. We can see the madness that potentially ensues. They do have priority, so if that's something to shut down my Wong, we might be in trouble. But we will play She Hulk first here, Thirsty here, and let's watch the fireworks. Explode. It is an Ultron no play. So does that win mid? No it does win me. mid. And then now our fate is in Cersei's hands. Like and subscribe. <laughs> and there you go. Just like I drew it up. <laughs> Just, like... Just like I drew it up. Uh, a weird Cersei win coming through. We got to pair her with She-Hulk on the last turn. A very good opening match. Okay, we're up against I Muted You. We do not have Hulk in hand, so I can play out the Sunspot and Scorpion on curve. With Cyclops, I like to wait, but I also have Wong in hand. So maybe I just keep playing on curve, or maybe I set up, I think I set up to Wong on the last 
on turn five into Cersei, so I would play Scorpion left. So they're probably not going to play into New York. They're probably not going to play into Necrotia. So let me play Scorpion here. Next turn, I will play Cyclops. Uh, no, I don't want to play here. I, d I want to leave this lane open for a Cersei play. So I will play Scorpion left. I can always move Scorpion to New York. Assuming they don't have Nocturne. Which is a big assumption. So next turn is turn three. I think I play the Mysterio. Oh, we hit their kitty. Very nice. They got our Wong. We hit their Professor X. That is nice. So play the real Mysterio over here. Give myself some options. Next turn I play Kitty. Not Kitty. Next turn I play Cyclops, right? Hopefully it can hit their Kitty Pride. Yeah. They may want to Professor X. But it's funny, I also have the Professor X. I'm in... I think I'm in decent position. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to snap them out of the game. Because I might be able to scare them into doing something weird. Because they know I have Professor X. Yeah. I'm scaring them into playing into New York. That is the idea. Opponent snapped. They snap back. That's funny. If they play Professor X, right? They could build it up. Professor X middle. Doesn't do much. I think I'm gonna She-Hulk here just in case to block the Professor X. Okay, that gets four. But that never gains enough. Because I have to soak. So I move my Mysterio middle. Just, am I just soaking? <laughs> I think I'm just soaking. Athena gets what? Athena gets three. So they get seven. Oh man, I lose by one. Three, seven. Cyclops, it's two, five. They go up to 15. Ugh. They retreated later. So they they were just as afraid as, of me. Uh, good thing I like rolling the dice. So the reason why I ultimately settled on Hulk is just banking they would abandon Necrotia. It's negative two. They need to play two cards to get the Fina buff and win right. They don't know where my real Mysterio is though. So if I had my real Mysterio right, it, it was just a wrap. Easy, easy win. I just soak, and they can't put enough power across the board. So, they would have to play left. And then they would have to play right, but can they play a big enough card left is the problem. Because they would need to play two... I would be up to two power here. So they'd need to play a four power card to tie. And I don't think their kitty was that large. So that's ultimately why I decided to stay in the game and just go hard mid. I lose right. They don't know that though. I almost definitely win middle with the Hulk. And I win left because they can't just can't get enough power because of Necrotia. So I think I read that right, actually. The, the game was won and lost on turn five. 
They snapped and told me what they were doing. Hey, I'm playing a Professor X. So that is why I ultimately landed on Shiho to just slam power in the lane they were most likely to Professor X. They probably weren't going to do it in Necrotia because of the negative power. They weren't going to do it into New York because I have Sunspot there. So the most likely spot was right because they have Thena and then they can play the Havoc and feel like they just win the game. Okay, we are up against three. Not a fan of negative zone with the squirrels. I will play Sunspot down to the unrevealed location. Start soaking some power. I do have Jubilee. That's nice paired with Cersei. This is a little bit of a weird high evo deck, uh, to be frank. Oh, that stinks. Oh, Squirrel Girl should have been in that spot. Well, uh, okay, we just continue to soak. Maybe that's where I play Jubilee. I don't know how much I care about losing Sunspot. I know they don't care about losing Spider Ham. Or they shouldn't care. Okay, we have Pixie. Red Hulk is uh, not good to see. Yep, we continue to soak. Now, here is where Cyclops can come in and ding their Jeff. So, let's do that. I'm not drawing as well as I would like. Okay, they're going to take out my Sunspot. So, this is actually what I'm playing against the meta version of this deck. So if you're looking to play the meta version, this is the, the one my opponent is playing is the version to play. Uh, let's play. Who has priority? I have priority. I'll fill with Jubilee. I'll fill with Jubilee. And then see what I have on my last turn. This is either Annihilus or Cersei. Ooh, Scorpion is not a great pull. Oh, my poor rock. What was their sh oh, Red Hulk at? <laughs> was it bigger than 13, 14? I think it was bigger. So they could just play Red Hulk right. They also played Pixie, so there's a chance they have a really cheap card as well. So, too many unknowns. They clearly locked in their turn quick. So they were in a very strong position. Yes, our Abomination was cheap, but it would just be hoping that they misplay. Okay, next up we have Parad. Scorpion, High Evo, and Wong. High Evo is actually a good card to be played with Cersei as well. You actually make High Evo into a usable card instead of just a basic four cost. We will play Scorpion out left since my locations will change on me. I don't want Scorpion to end up in Atlantis. Of course, I don't want the Widow's Kista in there either. Do I play a Squirrel there and set up for Wong. Eh, sure, why not? Let's give him a score. Okay, they played it on turn three. So if I give it back to him on turn four, they give it back to me on turn five. Not a fan of that. So I will play. Where's going to be my. I need to draw into Cersei. So I think the middle lane is going to be my Cersei lane. Hmm. And Abomination? But with all these rocks, I am not drawing <laughs> Cersei. 
Okay, location switch. Atlantis goes mid, machine world left. That's all right. So maybe I play Cyclops here? I don't have Cersei in hand or I would look to get down Wong. Okay, they filled my two sides. Oh man, are you telling me I get to go fishing for Cer Cersei? Seven cards in my deck. I mean, do they have a way to buff these cards? There's a lot of cheap cards. They might have Kazar. Let's find out if they have Kazar. We will just throw down She-Hulk. They do not have Kazar. So throw down She-Hulk mid. That wins middle. 10 to 9. We get two procs on the Cyclops. So that goes down to negative 1. And we're strong left. So they need to be able to play an a nine power card left and a eight power card right. I don't know how you're doing that on one turn. So even though the margins are a little slim, that's why ultimately we stay through this. Okay, next up we have Richie Rich. We have a decent combo in our hand with Wong and Cersei. So now it's going to be filling out a lane for that. We have run up against Hela. Hopefully by the time you see this video, she has been nerfed. I think I get the Scorpion down now. We'll get him down right. Okay, and then we will just plan to play Wong right, and then soak and hope the She-Hulk is enough, and Cersei? Hilarious. <laughs> That'd be nice if my Abomination's free. So them playing in the negative zone is actually kind of nice. So we will soak here. The other thing, because this is a new deck, I do not know how to snap with this when I'm in a strong position. It feels like I'm in a strong position right now. It's Dracula dump. Okay, so the Abomination did not get fully discounted. So I think we just load up middle and Cersei here and see what Cersei brings us. One, two, three. We won middle. And... Oh, thank God, Modok. Thank you, Modok. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for burning their hand so Doc Ock does not get me. And Cersei coming through in a big way with Wong. The Wong Cersei combo is real, folks. And pairing her on the last turn with She Hulk. Who needs Hulk? Because honestly, Cersei. Cersei is putting out more power than Hulk. That is. That's very funny. So maybe, maybe Hulk could be replaced with Wasp or something, because Cersei, if you draw into Cersei and Wong, that actually is your high end part of your deck. Because the power Cersei put out is her six, seven. She's seven power. Crossbones was 10, that's 17. Orca's 11. 17 plus 11 is 28. 28 power, that's bigger than a Hulk. So the Wong Cersei play is pretty nice, honestly. If you combine it with one other card. And then ending it with She-Hulk on the last turn, just fantastic. Okay, next up we have Dexter with two X's. 
We do have Hulk in hand, so we are incentivized to at least soak one energy per turn. Abomination can sneak into the big house. I would like a scorpion. The car is good for my deck. And clearly it's good for their deck. So we'll we'll see this through. I won't snap back. There are some bad pulls for me. Okay, they have a lot of big cards. We are the future. What are you gonna pull, Jubilee? Are you gonna thin my deck or pull out Cersei? You get Cersei. Oh Namora. That would have been fantastic that other cards in the lanes. Huh. I think I play Cyclops here. It's likely that they play into Bifrost so they can slide in. Okay, they are not because they either have Hella in hand or are hoping to draw her. So my Abomination just gets discounted by one. That kind of is rough. So what I was clicking on to see is how many cards do they have in deck. They have four in hand. They've discarded one, which is Death. They probably, if they were to play Hella, play her here. Right, so I'll just slam down an Abomination. They've already snapped. Giganto, so yes, they most definitely. So this is just good old RNG. Death and Giganto. If they go to the same lane, we win. <laughs> if they split lanes, we lose. As simple as that. Because this Hulk goes to 35. And I'm pretty convinced they play Hella right to force their two big cards over here. I'm seeing it through. Whatever game you're playing, it won't work. You can't defeat me. Because I think it's a 50-50 or something like that. <laughs> and that's why I'm seeing it through. Listen, if there's a mathematician watching, you can chime in. Their first card is resurrected in one of the two lanes. So it resurrected in this lane. So now it's a 50% chance of where death goes. So maybe it is a legitimate 50-50. So... I always say, if it's a 50-50, stay in. And it was a 50-50 because we guessed where they were going to play their Hella. And I think if you add eight points here, but if you add six points here, they lose. So yeah, that's why the Hella play here was always the best, but our Hulk was just so massive that we always beat the Hella play over here. So this is also a good example of reading your opponent and playing it out. and. Listen, Cersei is a compliment to this deck, but of course it's a high Evo deck. High Evo decks can win. It can beat Hella decks. You just kind of have to be good with reading your opponent and getting better at that. And so I hope that's what I showed this game. My okay, next up we have Dehydrated Vampire. Avengers Compound turn five. Okay. Nothing to do here, so our Hulk grows by two. Nothing to do on turn two as well. They do have Red Hulk, which is a natural counter. I think I just play the Hulk down. Hopefully they don't play the Red Hulk right, which is why I'm playing right. I would hope people would shy away from playing with a large card. Perfect. So they can have middle. And we focus on... Nice. And that's protected there. So I'd probably throw Cyclops down there. I'm being patient. Because I don't know that they can really win nowhere with the Hulk buffs. 
Now this is decision time. I have Cersei. I think I just play Wong. Because the Hulk's going to get to 20. So I play Wong, or maybe even higher. Wong, Scorpion, and then Cersei. Or maybe I play Cyclops? You definitely don't want to play Jubilee because she will fill the location. And I'm trying to win left. I could float. And do Cersei She-Hulk. I think that's what I'll do. They may be trying to clog me here. Ah, they think there's a counter. Got it. Let's snap back on him. Oh, the Mobius. I forgot about the Mobius. Okay, well, this was the play anyway, so this shall be the play. And maybe that snapback, they think I have Shang-Chi. So they try to buff prop up mid but we will see the cersei and turning long into a five cost card is actually pretty strong century and annihilus okay i still win there <laughs> Thank you, Cersei. You picked a lower power five cost card, but I will take it just good enough. And there you go. Some of that sweet Cersei, high Evo. How many cards did I even play this game? I literally played three cards this game. High Evo Hulk, Wong, and Cersei. <laughs> go, go figure. Uh, and yeah, this will definitely be our last game. Get out of here on an 8-cuber. Okay, so I forget how many ranks I climbed. I'm pretty confident I climbed some ranks. Despite me not snapping well or retreating well, just because sometimes I wanted to see what Cersei was going to do and watch the world burn. Again, I tried to make something that is for lower level collection people instead of your series four and five cards. I originally had Mockingbird and Sasquatch in here, but then I changed my mind because some of my past videos have had a bunch of series four and five cards and that can be a little inaccessible. So let's try to make an accessible deck. So here is the deck. This was the very first time I was using the deck, which again is why I wasn't good at snapping and retreating. I usually like to practice decks before I start recording with them, but actually was playing a negative Cersei deck and boy, was it rough. We will start the retreat montage. <laughs> Here we go. Retreat number one. We will retreat. We snapped and now we're retreating. Number two. Okay. Retreat number three. Retreat number, I lost track. Opponent and they snapped, so you know what that means. Retreat. Fantastic. They played on top of the Shuri instead of into this cap. Or maybe they... Oh, I hope you had fun with that Moda. <laughs> Angela goes up to four. So... Victory. Look at that glove. Anyway, Cersei. Then we do Morph. Morph. <laughs> Me too. Iron Man. I don't even know where I want to play these cards. This is just so much math. We're sending it. Who, who in the world Millions knows what's gonna happen? To me. We are the future. Oh. I, I think we're good. 
into the Gamora. Look at that. Okay, this is definitely the... I am Iron Man. Infinite. What was that? Oh, the morph. <laughs> I am Iron Man. Oh, boy. So it was better to play Iron Man left, but it really doesn't matter. So with this deck, though, there are some good combinations with Cersei. We have Squirrel Girl. We have Mysterio that Cersei likes changing. The Wong play, that I think will be a lasting combination for some Cersei decks. Wong and Cersei, you can flip your cards into cards that cost two more, which is even more value. There is randomness. You will get an Ultron. You will get a Destroyer. You'll get a Deathlock. You'll get a Carnage. You'll get a Viper. I don't know if I included that game, but Viper sent over one of my cards, and then Cersei changed that card for them. <laughs> so Cersei helped them out. So there can be ran there will be randomness with Cersei. Good and bad. So honestly, go in with Cersei expecting fun. Make sure you can laugh and have a good time. Because if you're looking to be super competitive every single game, she's not that card at all. But she can be part of a competitive deck, which I like to think I showed this video. If you try out the deck, let me know how it goes for you. And until next time. So we put our Scorpion there. I may end up playing Cyclops left. Is it Cerebro 3? <laughs> There's no strings on me. <laughs> oh, absolutely <Breaking> hilarious. <laughs> As much as I want to see this game out, of course we have to retreat, so on to the next match.